Welcome to Not Factory Approved. I have to put a very heavy transmission, a 300 pounder I'm sure, hydromatic with a cast iron case, into this. So I'm trying to make a transmission lift. Now I'm still trying to figure out what exactly I'm doing, which is nothing new there. So this is what I originally thought of for a base. And I just took this one and a half inch angle iron, cut it where I wanted and bend it. So 45 degree there. I cut out a 45 degree notch there so I could bend it. And I use the pieces here to fill these gaps and then I'll grind them off later. And then weld the cross pieces on. And then I'm thinking of either using that six ton floor jack, which is six and a half inches tall, and it has, sorry, seven inches tall, and it has a four and a half inch lift. Now that's kind of tricky, because I need more than that. So I also bought this car jack, and it's rated at one ton, which ought to be sufficient. It has lots of range. I'd have to bolt it and secure it in place. I also have to change this end so that I can drive it with a, a ratchet or a drill. So I did kind of want to use one of these wheel dollies as a base, but I'm not sure I'll do that. I'm still thinking that one through. Some ways it would be easier to use it, and some ways not. So, and I'm getting a little short of metal, and I haven't found a good supplier locally yet. So, after having moved, so I'm still figuring that out. I'll let you know how it goes. Funny thing happened on the way to get scissor jacks. I couldn't get any, so I bought this one a few weeks ago at Habitat for Humanity. And I bought this one yesterday from PV Mart, which is kind of like a, maybe even a cheaper version of Harbor Freight, except uh, more of a farming focus. So I paid 15 bucks for this one and 45 for this one. And the reason I couldn't find any, one auto record told me, is that manufacturers don't put jacks in vehicles anymore. So when a dealer goes to sell a used vehicle, He's looking for a scissor jack. So I was planning to use um, ones like the Jetta has, which are a, a one-way lever. Instead of a scissor, it's a lever arrangement that comes up. And it has a bracket on it that would clamp very nicely to the wheel dolly that I'm using. But couldn't find any, even though a local auto wrecker has at least 50 Type 4s. He didn't have any sold them all. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this one in the rear since it's a lighter duty than this one. This one will be at the front. Both of them can quite easily take the weight. Um, I may put a bolt or a nut on here to use this or I may just shorten the wrench that came with it. That's about it. Now to see how they fit on the wheel dolly. I think probably um, if you're doing this, you don't need quite as complex a frame as I have made. Uh, but you need a means to make sure that these two jacks do not swivel. So I put them at 90 degrees to each other to uh, sort of stabilize things a bit. The torque converter cover on this, on the hydromatic, rests on here. So I'm going to move this bracket back down underneath. And then I probably will just put bolt, bolts and nuts through here. I don't really want to make everything welded together. And likewise here, bolts and nuts. This part is okay. It can stay on top. This can stay on top. This I think I'll put on the bottom. This is the beauty of having designs in your head. It's easy to erase them. So here's the frame for the transmission lift. I've bent, I've cut the front bracket free 
bent it slightly and so that will be now on the bottom it's, you're looking at it upside down and then I'll weld that there and I'll drill uh, two to four holes haven't decided yet on each end to uh, bolt to the jacks and when this end when that end and it fits should fit just nicely on the car dolly I might have to cut recesses in the car dolly so that the jacks are a little lower but I'll do that now to measure how everything fits so with the welder you do have to keep an eye on the duty cycle it's a little more prone to overheating now I think that it's got the diodes in there um, before it was just a transformer it could cool it could take more current through it but uh, semiconductors do get hot when they have a lot of current going through them so from what I noticed before welding this up clamping it with vice grips and welding it maybe grinding a bit and you know keeping on working at that kind of pace welding probably at a 20% duty cycle I would say it uh, was warm air coming out of the transformer or warm air coming out of the arc welder cabinet it wasn't hot but it was warm so to keep an eye on that if you get up to about 50 percent then definitely the diodes would be getting hot and when diodes get hot they tend to short and that's the last thing you want here it is thus far one jack at the back 90 degrees to the one at the front Hopefully that will make it slightly more stable. I had these flathead screws. They're actually meant for a garage door. Years ago when I had a broken garage door, I bought a box of these screws because it was cheaper than buying them individually. And I have a bunch left. So they're perfect for this. Um, the back's not so important. I could have used regular bolts. But the front, just in case the torque converter ever gets down there, depending on the transmission, and then I'll put those two small slats in the middle just so that the um, pan of the transmission can't fall between. Uh, this is just a little too wide for this transmission. So you can, if you're very careful, rest it right on the edge. But it's much easier just to put those crossbars in. And so the one at the front will drop down. I have to do something here yet to hold it. Uh, I have to allow enough room for the casters to spin because the whole point of this is four wheel steering. So I can move the transmission around easily under the car. And the back will mount on top of the car dolly because transmissions are always higher at the back than they are in the middle. The design process continues. Yeah, let's see what we got here for a little inspection. So there's the jack at the rear. And the mount it's underneath the mount but not touching it and we've got three brackets across and uh, obviously my measuring wasn't very good I estimated where that should fit and it's not very good it's missing missing the point so I'll put another one in there just to be sure we'll see how it fits I might have to put a stop at the back or just let it slide back to the um, end there. Uh, it should be okay here for going against the motor. Should work fine. Let's see if it can uh, be jacked up. Okay, it does lift. Uh, one thing I do have to watch is the jacks have to be bolted down. It provides just a little too much of a pivot point. Fortunately, I left it connected. So that's one thing I have to do. I really hope I don't have to put outriggers on this thing, but um, it looks like it should balance as long as you don't reef it too much sideways, and that could get to be a problem. So I might have to put outriggers on it yet. Uh, if I could do something that bolts and just clears the floor, that's another possibility. It doesn't have to have casters on it. So to mark some holes. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, or even notify, or any of the above, or all of the above. Thank you.